The Texas State Fair is a place for families and friends to show off their animals. I raised chickens when I was in um, when I was in 4-H as well, so it was kind of a family tradition. My family has always grown up around livestock, so it's just kind of in my blood. Just being able to raise them and then show the judge what I got and how I did it. But amid the commotion and competition... Yeah, he was born uh, 5 a.m. this morning. He's a new guy, yep. This year's new birthing barn has provided a learning experience for fairgoers. I'll let them birth up front. That's why we're here. We'll birth, we'll palpate, we'll do all kinds of stuff in front of the public to teach them a little bit of livestock stewardship and a little slice of what goes on on a livestock operation. Where are you going, little fella? So in this space last year was our petting zoo. It's been here a long time, fair favorite, and we just happened to have a cow give birth while she was here. And uh, people loved it. They had tons of questions. Uh, they wanted to know more. And so we said, we're not doing a good enough job teaching them about how uh, we help animals and how we raise animals. And, uh, when they get here, they're not walking away. They're not walking in and saying, oh, this is not what I wanted. They still get to see animals. We have goats and sheep and uh, cattle and pigs all scheduled to give birth during the fair and just as another opportunity for us to show a little slice of uh, agriculture to maybe people that don't get to see it every day. The fair's mission statement is built on agriculture, education, and community involvement. And this really ties in all three uh, where we're able to bring them in, teach people about it, and make them part of our ag community uh, and bring them in and say, hey, this is where the clothes that you wear come from. This is where the food on your table comes from. The cars you drive in, in, the houses you live in, uh, all of it has something to do with animal or animal byproducts and uh, it's really important for people to know that and know that the farmers and ranchers that are raising these animals are doing it the right way. They're taking care of them, they're doing what's in the best interest of the animal and that uh, ultimately they're working together uh, across the nation to figure out how do we feed a growing population uh, and do it ethically and do it the right way. This is Jackie Carroll reporting for the Lovejoy News Network.